This is CBS 2 News. Super Bowl Sunday, forget the game. Where's the food you were eating? Are you? you I was no, I was eating. I'm done yeah, eating now. Right. But my kitchen was humming <laughs> last night. But Tony Tantillo is here with some suggestions to make your party tonight mm. super. If you haven't figured out your menu yet, right, Tony? That's right. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to do sausage and peppers in the beginning. Now, for all you purists out there, this sausage and peppers done with a different twist to it, and we're going to use red peppers instead. When you make your red peppers, when you buy your red peppers, excuse me, make sure it's red all the way around. Very simple. I see the hand going right here. It's uh, he's sautéing the pan. Let's just get right to the chef right now. We'll talk about red peppers later. James, how are you? Tony, how's it? Nice to see you. You always come on the show. You've been on about two, three years ago. You're a great chef out of Jersey. I love your cooking. And you're doing sausage and peppers with a special twist to it. Absolutely. And we're going to use red peppers, right? Red peppers. No green. No green. Okay, let's go. The uh, And you could use uh, yellow peppers and orange peppers. Right. And you can even a few green ones if you wanted okay. to. Okay. But we have it all red today. What are we going to do first? The whole thing about sausage and peppers for me is mm -hmm. about the vegetable. So we got peppers and onions. So we want to oh. sweat those Regular guys. dry onions? Regular yellow, Spanish yellow onions. Onion, yeah, onion, yellow no onions. No sweet onions, right? Just no. the regular hot And you could throw onion. red onions in there also. Okay. A few of those guys. All right. A few red peppers. And it's the salt. That's the most important thing. I always tell my cooks in the kitchen, salt. That'll help to bring out the, the moisture because we want to sweat this stuff. Nice and slow and gentle. No color. This is the longest process. This takes, you know, about 15, 20 minutes. You want to go slow. Slow. See, I make sausage and peppers, James. Red, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, that's onions. Where, put that's the pepper in the sausage if you do it differently. Well, you I know, like the, it. I this like is it a three-star chef doing it, you know, fancy, you know? <laughs> I know. But I'm really, a, I'm a one-star chef. Cooking, cooking the vegetable, you're, you're going to get beautiful body body from the sausage and peppers and um, nice flavor. Okay, so here then we got it right here. Pretend this is like a half an hour's worth of cooking comes All over right. here. Long and slow, how do you know when it's ready? You taste it. It's sweet, it's tender. Then we're going to add our just crushed tomatoes. Okay. Crushed tomato and liquid. And then we take our sausage. We, we're going to get the rope sausage, cook it whole, and, this and then slice it like that. Now you bake the sausage, right? I bake it because for presentation. I like okay. it to be small, especially for the Super Bowl. We want to do like bite-sized little pieces. Let this simmer now for either on top of the stove or in the oven. All I right. like to do it in the oven so it's real gentle. And you'd be surprised the amount of fat that's going to come off of there. Yeah, I was, I was wondering how you render the fat, but it, it was more part, fat will render, right? Part of it goes into the um, when we bake it first. Okay. We're going to throw some fresh rosemary in there. The thyme, we're just going to dump it in there straight like that. Now, we only got a few more seconds. I need you to plate okay. this real quick. The, this, this is what it looks like at the end. He made some garlic bread, which is very simple to make. And then he's going to put the sausage on here. And he put we it have, in bite-sized pieces. Take a look at these sausage and peppers. Now, James, the way you did it is, is different, but I enjoy it. I had some earlier. It's fantastic. And thank you so much for this one. And what are we going to do in the second segment? Fish tacos. Mahi mahi tacos. Mahi mahi tacos. Look at, look at these little guys. And then we take some nice cheese and throw it on top. Beautiful. We're going to be cooking here the whole time, and we'll toss it back to you guys. Delicious. Look at that. All right, Different we'll check cheese. back with Purple you. Thank you very much. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Forget the game. Where's the food? All about food. Tony <laughs> Chantillo here with some great ideas for your party tonight. Hey, Tony. That's right. Earlier we made a wonderful sausage and peppers, and James made it with some, some herbs and some garlic bread. Let me tell you something. This is the second one. I'm just going to enjoy this. Number two. Now we're going to make some wonderful fish tacos. James, how are you? Nice to see you. We've been wonderful. here cooking all morning long. For sure. Now these fish tacos, a little bit of inspiration here. Miami. Fish exactly, tacos. yeah, for sure. Cilantro, Beautiful. ginger. And what kind of fish we got here? We have mahi mahi. Now show how you what you did here. We, Talk about what you have here. I like the mahi mahi because it has a little bit more um, moisture and mm -hmm. a stand up to the, the cooking. We have cilantro, just whole pieces, ginger, lime zest. These are little spicy chilies here, and tequila. And then how long do you marinate that for? Because it's mahi-mahi, we can do it for overnight. Like, Even with the citrus, doesn't cook it at all? It's, ver it's thick flesh, so okay. it's not. It's going to cook it a little bit, but not enough to make it like to ceviche. To alter the taste or make exactly. ceviche. Let's put it on the plate. We have a nice like hot griddle here. And Beautiful. this can be done like just like this. Not too okay. hot, not too cold. Look at that. Can you get, let's get a shot of this. Look at the perfect griddle. Very flat. Slow cook. Exactly, yeah. So it doesn't get too dry on the outside, right. stays moist on the inside. Or you could just as well take this whole the whole griddle just like this okay. and put it into the oven. All nice right. and gentle. Okay. And when it's all done, after product, how long how long again did you say? Again, depends on the thickness, but at least fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. This is what it looks like right here. Take a shot of this. Now the ginger gives out that wonderful. And I like you see how I, I cut it flavor. big so it's gonna just give the flavor but not the bitterness of the ginger. Let's make the taco now. Can I have the fish? Yes, you can. You need the fish for the taco. I was going to enjoy that. 
What do we do? It's not all free. So we have our tortillas. All right. We warm them up on the grill for a little bit. Okay. I like to put the uh, the, the gluey stuff first. So that, that gives would, it the binding, right? Yeah. That, together. We have our, our cabbage here. This is, um, we can use lettuce. This is just regular, you know. Could you um, use some white cabbage too? You could, absolutely. Okay. And we have our onions. Beautiful. We have our, you like sour cream? Yes. Not um, a lot though, just a little bit. Do you like it spicy? Make it spicy. A little spicy. And then uh, at the last moment, we're going to add the fish, okay? Beautiful. This is what I'm having at my Super Bowl party. Yes, I know. Three star chefs have this. Well, James, thank you so much. And you laid on top of here. some caramelized onions. Take a look, look at, at this that. presentation right here. Delicious. Sausage and peppers, fish tacos. Almost as good as the minted meatballs. Almost as good. Hopefully. We never tried those minted meatballs. You know, one day, you got to bring some over, Kristen, and let me know what it's like, and I want to try it, okay? Yeah. This is great. Yeah. We'd love to. You could come over tonight, but I think you've got your own so you thing going. the football game. Those guys are still talking. They're like, <laughs> like two women. Okay. All right, we got the snacks covered for the big game. Let's go live to Miami.